Okay, guys, I've got a few things to say about what's going on right now in D.C. Because let's be honest, I've been away from my TV and my computer all day, and I've just heard about what's going on. So, first of all, to those of you that decided that this was a great thing to do, this is not democracy. This is not how democracy is done. This is not how we accept the way things work in this country, okay? I understand. You're not happy that the orange idiot lost, but to do this is to threaten the integrity of not only the election, which you swear isn't int integral anyway, but also is very much detrimental to the continuing function of this country. So, to say that you're doing this in the name of freedom is actually wrong, because here's the reason why D.C. is locked down tonight, why people aren't allowed to leave their homes, why everyone is practically re restricted just because of a few people that decide to be idiots and break into the Capitol building. Now, to any MAGA supporters that did not attend this, if you are seeing the same thing that I'm seeing on the news, on the television, on the live streams, and you do not immediately denounce this as a horrible behavior, as horrible actions, I've lost faith in humanity. Because let's be honest, this is not who I, this is not how adults behave. They don't throw a tantrum when they lose. That's what five-year-olds do. And finally, the President Trump, or I guess soon-to-be former President Trump, if you think that continuing to use the rhetoric, rhetoric that you're using that's inciting this kind of behavior in your supporters is okay, you need more help than just legal. You need mental help. Because let's be honest, as a leader of a free nation like the U.S., speaking the way that you have is not only dangerous, but also detrimental. Not only to you, but also to, and not only to your cause, but also to the nation and international processes. You're playing a very dangerous game with the American people by putting them against one another. This is not what we do in America. This is not what we do in the world. So please, for once in your gosh darn life, do the smart thing and call off your dogs. Do the smart thing and denounce this behavior and go along with the process as it was intended. Please. My nerves are shot because I'm seeing this and I'm going, how long till the crazy craziness reaches my area? How long until the craziness reaches people that I know, people that I love, people that I care about? Really? How long? Because it might not take that long. I live in a deep red state. It could happen tomorrow. It could happen next week. It could happen next month after Biden's in. I don't care. I don't care that you don't like who we, who who won. I don't care that you don't like the fact that the Democrats won or the fact that you think they stole the election. I don't care. What I do care about is when you put other people's lives on, on the line, in danger, at risk, because you didn't like what happened. I'm not happy with you guys. I'm not. But, they, but we can do better. But we have to start somewhere. So please, for God's sake, do better. Do better.